Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we'll bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ife Oluwa Oshunkaye and Ewa Ritu. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Great, great. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm very okay. Mm. All right. Are um, you sure? Yeah. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Something must be wrong. I'm drinking tea. Okay. Okay. Uh, before I spill tea. Oh. <laughs> anyway, nice. we're starting with um, Nigerian vlogger Lola OJ, who has reacted to rumors of getting pregnant for footballer Obafemi Martins. She had announced three days ago that she welcomed the child three months ago. However, the identity of the child was not revealed. On Saturday, a particular blog decided they have had enough or they have enough to unveil the father of Lola OJ's baby. In the revelation post, she was linked with Shino Pella alleging she used to date the socialite until his wife did everything within her power to end the relationship. And then she said dating Obafemi Martins, who has now been rumored the father of her baby. Reacting to the allegations, Lola OJ gave in um, to being vulnerable for a minute. She wrote, and I quote, Today, I was sent some links and I read, I'm not upset. It just feels weird when people go out of their way to try and assassinate your character just for fun. I have read some things that are quotes that are quite scary to be honest. How can you legit say such things with convictions about people you have never even met? Very strange, but hey, I guess it's the social media thing, right? It is hilarious when people are wrong with confidence. Continue confuse yourselves. It is quite entertaining. So um it's quite entertaining actually. Okay, it so is. everything she wrote does it debunk anything? Mm, I feel like because she started by I didn't read the beginning of mm. her um, messages, but she started by saying she doesn't read comments and all that. Yeah, but that she doesn't. In this case, she read comments, right? No, that people sent her um, different links. She doesn't and read she blogs read, and yeah. comments, and then mm -hmm. she has to, um, she had to read it. Mm. And, so I'm not mm. quite sure if she's reacting to the reactions mm. or she's reacting to the news itself. Or the rumor itself. I think she's reacting to the rumor. Okay. It's just that she probably does not. I don't know. There are some things she's probably like me because mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm there already, I'll probably just ignore most of the things. I say that if I'm there already, I will just ignore whatever these people are saying. To mm -hmm. be honest, she probably just found it very entertaining that people. I, I mean, why do Nigerians speak? Yeah, for T boss, the same thing. You you think this one is the father? The moment you find out that you're wrong, you look for another father again. The moment you find out that you're wrong, you look for another father again. I mean, what is your business with the father of the child? Mm. It's not like you have your you. You have any responsibility or the person owes you any explanation but you bloggers just go on and on picking on people's story looking for what is not and at the end of the day you're very wrong if you really want to be a good blogger you want people to trust your um site or whatever it is i mean you should do better and find information not coming out and just tying people into what is not hmm. <sighs> if you rest um if you ask me um i'll go off your question first of all that is, is she de debunking anything? And I'm going to say absolutely yes, because um, she's referring to the DMs, to the posts, the links that were sent to her. Mm -hmm. So she's telling you that she doesn't know how you can say false things with so much conviction mm -hmm. and wondering. So that's you debunking it, saying that, look, you're what you're wrong. saying is actually very wrong mm -hmm. and it's not the truth. So, yes, she's debunking all of this. But the question should be, is that debunking of these allegations really what is actually going on? Because we know about people that have debunked Tony Abraham, debunked <laughs> a pregnancy for months. Right. The, um, Choma debunked they being pregnant debunk. for months. You get so, I really don't know why they debunk I think, what's I think, true. I think so. I think that's supposed to be the question that... Mm -hmm. Does uh, debunking have any basis? Like, mm. are we going to find out months down the line that, that okay, the really father is actually Obafemi Martin or the father is actually Shinopela? No, Shinopela was not. No, they said, the said they the, thought the wife because the, the wife, but the wife, Shinopela's wife, mm. was able to fight it the takes battle. Nine months to make a baby. She she fought the battle for seven months, uncle, and they did it for two months. Mm. Mm -mm. Fail, my that does not I don't understand. Though. It takes nine months to make a baby. It mm. takes one day, one night, new. Is the like, baby that will not be for forming for nine months. To, for you to have a child, but, that's what I'm talking about. Anyways, I, I don't know who is the father of the baby. But whether you say what's our business or not, this is our business. <laughs> and we, me, you, you, you like if I, you have a And she tried to hide this like baby from you, you guys. Say, maybe we will not agree. But me, I will agree that I've wondered 
Who is the father? No, no, I can't, I can't even write. Like and I've had conversations. Who is the father? I've had conversations with few people. But yeah, but I thought about it, but I, I, I just felt. Of if course, it's not like I'm dwelling that, on it. Mm, it's more like a conversation you have and you move on. Like if you don't come out to tell people, okay, now you, I don't you care. thought about it. That I did not just thought about it though. I had conversations with people. Okay, now you had and in my head, please nobody. Should, yes, I speculated. Wow. Because Ooh. there was a gist and a rumor. Okay. That she was dating Fowls. Oh. I mean, it's just a rumor. And then they were like, oh, they couldn't get married because she's from a Muslim home and he, she's from a Christian right. background and that they really love each other that much and blah, blah, blah. That was my own speculation. I'm wondering. Is even reasonable. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> Wait, is now. Reasonable no because... I'm, I'm just saying that is the gist going around. So now we do not know. And I mean, when she was in London a few weeks ago, Faust was also in London, and there was someone mm. who was on that trip with him <laughs> that she appeared on his. <laughs> that she, um, she appeared on his story on that guy's story, and of course that guy was on the same trip with Faust. So oh. I do not know, but that is a gist going around. So link... when your Bafemi Martin thing came out, I'm okay, like, so, um, where did you come LC from? Plus TV mm -mm, Africa. Mm -mm. Uh, I already said this, and then a friend said, a friend said, hold on, when I sent Lola this um, rumor baby. or mm. this allegation that it's Obafemi to someone else. She was like, ah, that she didn't even think of it being Obafemi or she not That people she thought was either Faust, Deji, or Toby. I don't know who Deji is. I don't <laughs> know who Toby is. But that is the gist going on. So where yeah, Obafemi Matis is coming from in this whole conversation, it's, it's uh, and, and these people need to be careful. It's surprising. This, Obafemi is married. Yeah. You, you don't need to, to be destroy very his home if you, don't, if you know this is If not you're true. not sure of what yeah. you're putting out there, you need to be very careful. Mm -hmm. What if his wife is somebody that does not even want to listen to anything, but yeah. like, if this is going on, them behind every um, rumor, rumor there's, there's, there's yeah, you know what I mean? Don't destroy people's fair. marriage because of, when you, don't you have want evidence. to, you know, ah, it's so, so sad. Yeah, basically. But it's entertaining anyway. I mean, what are we here for? <laughs> yeah, everybody gist. If you're, you know, entertained. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> In your mind. Anyway, moving on from that story, Michael Jackson's estates, um, they are filming over leaving Neverland Emmy win. The documentary won 2019 Emmy Award for Outstanding Documentary slash Non-Fiction Special. Okay, if I... Okay, so I decided not to talk about this yesterday because I'm one of the people of the opinion that leaving Neverland was absolutely unnecessary mm -hmm. because um, this is a dead man and um, these are cases that have been discharged, that he has been discharged and acquitted about while he was alive. Mm -hmm. We have the case of um, Macaulay Culkin, the Home Alone guy, mm -hmm. and who said that um, Michael Jackson never did anything inappropriate around him. I'm going to go back to Dave Chappelle's um, Sticks and Stones joke when he said, <laughs> <clears throat> he said if he was a pedophile, which is not, but if he was, the first child he would go after would be Macaulay Culkin <laughs> because do you know how you're going to have the bragging rights after that that saying, oh, I had Macaulay Culkin, mm. and you know how hard that guy is at, you know how hard he is to catch, right? Right. From home alone, you can't catch that boy. <laughs> so if you catch that boy, you have to be you're a bad guy. <laughs> so if Macaulay Culkin is saying that, look, this dude didn't do nothing mm -hmm. around me, I've always been of the opinion that leaving Neverland was one-sided from the start mm -hmm. because um, we didn't get people from the Michael Jackson estate or from Anybody his around, background yeah. around him that had a follow-up story or that could back oh, that whatever they were saying mm -hmm. or yeah. that, that could have said, okay, that, that even hinted that maybe, just maybe what you guys mm. are saying is true, but there was no such person in the picture. It was just so the two boys So it was one-sided, it was the two boys, and out of the two boys, you were only able to interview one of them and his family. So how does that even win an award? Because, mm. I mean, it's questionable being nominated to start with. Uh, you've seen um, 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 documentaries like When They See Us that actually moved, moved the whole world, right? I think that and um, When They See Us is not a documentary, it's a mini-series, so that's the thing. It's actually a docu-series. It's, it's a docu-series, mm, yeah. but it's a docu Documentaries are different from docu-series. No, it's, it's basically a name you give to documentary when they are too long, mm. and you can't just box them yeah. into a 20 mm. minutes thing. Well, I don't know your idea of a documentary, mm. but that's not a documentary. That's a docu-series, and it's totally different from a documentary. A documentary just focuses on one part. A docu-series is a part of a documentary. Okay, It's a no type argument. of a documentary, actually. Yeah, okay. But then, maybe they wanted to focus on short ones. And, I, don't I know, mean, we have um, the fire 
Fire um, the Fire Festival festival yes on which it. is also nominated and which is the biggest kind yes and I think that movie who has deserves seen fire that award says that wow like mm -hmm. this is like the you, you, yeah, you be like wow and people award. it was and trending it was very serving a life sentence on that particular mm. documentary mm -hmm. I mean a life I said a life sentence I serving a jail time mm -hmm. on that particular um, documentary now you're talking about a dead man who can defend himself whom you did not talk to his estate you didn't talk to anybody around him and then that thing is when if I was Michael just Michael Jackson's estate I will also be filming over this saying that look this is a one-sided story. So wrong. And it's so like they're just trying to get more attention. To and that ten years series, after this man is really dead, he's having two cases really against him. Who are you going to charge? Who is going to serve the punishment? Come and charge me. <laughs> you serve his time. No, no. Let's let's start the fight first. Maybe before they finish the fight, I'll be dead. <laughs> you don't know. It is law and legal. Right. Anyway, it's time for a quick break. But when we return, it will be time for more stories. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> Welcome back. Um, a model is suing Kevin Hart for over $60 million for a sex tape. Um, the model allegedly appeared in a sex tape with Kevin Hart. Her name is um, Montia Sabag, and she has filed a lawsuit accusing him of conspiring to film the intimate footage without her knowledge. In September 2017, footage was being shopped around of Hart allegedly engaging in sexual intercourse with a model in Las Vegas hotel room. The comedian's friend, Jonathan T um, JT Jackson, was later arrested for allegedly trying to sell the footage um, and Hart claimed he was the victim of extortion. Um, we also recall that Hart is still recovering from his accident. It's just and my, I think the first time I saw the headline, um, my head, seven like, million let this guy rest suitcase now. hanging somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's He's going the, through a lot right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> and this is coming from TMZ. According to them, they got a hold of um, the court documents. Mm. So I'm not quite sure what um, when this was filed. If it was before the accident or after it. I think you it know, was after. Wow, but yeah, so that's just it. What did you see? One the thing sex I one thing I time? recall I then I when the um I didn't watch the sex tape, but when the scandal broke out, one thing I recall was that she said mm -hmm. Kelvin Hart was drunk that night, mm -hmm. and that um she came out the first yeah she came out she said something like she knew who um who um, um eat the camera which was Kelvin Hart's friend mm -hmm. and Kelvin Hart was drunk he was not even aware of what happened so I don't know where this is coming from mm -hmm. now that. It was, um, they planned the whole thing together. I really don't get a story because a story are not even making sense to me. You're saying that he wants to, he, he did it for publicity and all of this person is married. Mm -hmm. I mean, how will a married man release sex tape for publicity? Mm. Do you get, if, 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 he, if he has to divorce with his wife, is this cost him more than whatever the what publicity will get him. Do you get? Mm -hmm. So I really don't think her story is making sense and I think she's just lying, to be honest. Okay, so um, if you understand the um, entertainment business, you would know that, look, even your wife can be in on some of your publicities and still come out and act like I'm the mad wife. Yes, I'm angry at what you did, but it's all something that is planned. At that point in time, it was planning a tour which was, um, which was tagged irresponsible. 
So that is something that, okay, the irresponsible Kevin had. How can we see that part of him? And then you put something iconic together with a model and then you do that. I'm not saying he's guilty, <laughs> but I'm saying that there is a very high chance. And then we've heard of celebrities telling you that they go out of their way to actually do some of this publicity stunts just for them to get clout or promote certain things they are doing at the moment, certain projects. So I'm not saying I repeat, I'm not saying that that's exactly what Kevin Hart did. But if she's coming out for that, and I believe that there must have been some amount of investigation. This case has been since 2017. This is 2019. They've had two years to go down the line. They've had um, Johnson, his friend that was accused of planting mm -hmm. the camera. You mm -hmm. don't know if he has sang like a bird. Mm -hmm. and, do you understand? Because so, it's the season of singing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you don't know if he has done that. You don't know what's exact, what exactly is going on. So I'm not saying that I'm not saying that Kevin did this, but there's nothing new under the sun. But um, whatever the case may be, I'm sure they'll settle out of court. But responding from the angle you're coming from, mm -hmm. I mean, if you say it's possible for his wife to be on it and her own party to come out in public to <laughs> um, act so angry, right? And then he has to apologize and all that, all for the responsible mm -hmm. talk. Then. Everything at the end of the day, showbiz is all about money, including the models and the actors and the wife and whoever is in that entertainment space. Most mm. times, we're really all about the money at the mm. end of the day, right? So if you can get your wife to be on board for you to allegedly cheat, right, why do you think it would be difficult to get a model that will agree to be paid to do, <laughs> to do that? I mean, I mean <laughs> bringing her in on board should be the like, easiest part. If It doesn't like have to be high, exactly. I like the fact that you said this business. If somebody walks up to you with... A very huge amount of money for you to appear in a sex tape. Since we're all about the money in showbiz, yes. you know, yes. will you do it? The fact that I will not do does it does not mean that there's nobody out there. Okay, so what is the guarantee that this girl is not and coming off the back? And this girl doesn't need back. to be popular. The only wait, popular wait, wait, wait. person we need there is This girl is coming off the back. Of the fact that they might have even asked her or suggested or even insinuated and she just got the vibe and they got the vibe that Mm -hmm. And they decided to. No, did you know? Did you, so did you, know, do you even understand how they met? Like how they met, how they went for the trip, and every, if you read the whole story, fair, then I think you understand. I've read the whole story, and I'm telling you that it's it's not everybody that you would offer money for such things, since because the showbiz, and you think some people will stoop so low to do certain things, they will suggest they will not come out. So why do you think, why do why do you think, why do you think she didn't come out straight? If they've approached Wait, that before. I mean, that's what I'm saying that they might not have come out straight. They might have insinuated, suggested. Are you listening to the English? Suggested English daddy, uh -huh. right. no. and wait, <laughs> and if they just get the vibe that this one will not do it, do you understand? Mm. They would just and they ahead. can't move on to the I next person. To like I said, said did we you need just see, one popular person. This, this girl, this um, particular girl, about. the way she described the kind of relationship they had that day mm. is not the kind of they suggested. <laughs> Were you there with them? No, no, no. She said it is her words. I'm using her words now. Like, it's what she said. That's I'm going course. by. That's you were not there to it, the You I'm were not there. I'm not even we'll talking about the last first last interview when it came out. In my, in my opinion, you were not there. I was not there. Have. Now, let's go they by what we know. Have. They could have. They, they could, could have not. But yes, but if you go by what we know, if you go by what we know, it's also Kevin Hart could have and could have not. Yeah, yeah. So if 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 we're going by your theory and you can. In my head, you can bring in your wife, you can bring in all that. I think it's a case of he said, she I said. Think. I don't know, I don't yeah, know Kelvin Nat's wife, so. I don't know Kelvin Nat, but I, from what I've been saying, their videos and everything, I don't think she's somebody that really in that somebody that is really into the kind of that kind of publicity stuff, not even that kind, but basically public, public things like that. Mm. Okay, mm. we will yeah. definitely watch this piece to see how this plays out because this argument is too heated to let it go. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the next story. Lizzie and Jory mocks um, Tony Abraham after being served legal papers. Okay, so I, I, I don't know if the videos I saw was before yesterday or it came out yesterday, but I think I saw 16, so I mm. believe it's yesterday. And <sighs> she said a lot. She said a whole lot. Of course, we cannot play that on air, mm. but she said a whole lot. And um, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. So um <laughs> he has to take a <laughs> to do something like that. Mm. I repeat, you are a mm. no, no, said it's in, it's in English. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. But so um, that's it on you, but 
Ah, it's your band. Yes, <laughs> Ask people lie. Ask people lie. No. Okay, okay this people. is really not funny. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I, as much as I don't like how Lizzie had to come out to sit in front of a camera and then start talking about another woman, she was giving us gist of how she did not give birth in London. She, gave, I mean, I'm all about the tea. So let me finish the tea that I had. She did not give birth in London. She gave birth in Nigeria. Uh, in fact, the tea is actually she, too, she you does know. drugs. It, yeah, and I think that was out at some point when um, Tony came out. And to she say never she, denied it. She said yeah, she was, yeah, she mm-hmm. when she was depressed or something mm. or so, right? And hopefully she's um, beyond that right now. Yeah. She's out of it. But um, Lizzie is the kind of person in that Nollywood industry where you say, don't even enter one problem with her. Because if you enter it, they can drag it for two weeks. This is the matter we're talking about. If we're talking about it next week, you will not be surprised because Lizzie does not let things go. No, she, she said it herself. She's like, if you keep replying mm-hmm. me, I'm going you to know, keep making videos. Sh- <laughs> and I'm sh- like, so, I mean, Tony Brown is a hardworking lady. Mm. Lizzie is also a hardworking lady. I mean, she has done a lot for herself with the kind of um, businesses and wealth she has amassed for herself. Like, she's good on her own rights, right? Mm-hmm. And. I, I, I just hope that they can squash this somehow because Auntie is saying that Tony Abraham doesn't even have enough money to push really go kiss. <laughs> I, I, I don't know so what just, that video was it's... about, but to me, I, to be honest, I just feel like it was total nonsense. You just sat down to make a video to bring somebody down mm-hmm. and to make yourself feel important. Mm-hmm. Did you hear the part that she was saying, Nigerians need to be thanking me. Mm-hmm. Nigerians need to be praying for me mm-hmm. because I've done a lot. Even if it's 10,000 naira that I'm paying them monthly, mm-hmm. I've done a lot. And I'm like, hmm. So, she you know how many people are doing great stuff for people and they don't even sit in front of camera to say, Nigerians should be thanking me. So, because you're what? Mm. You're sitting down to say that she didn't give it to her child in London. She slapped her mother-in-law. She did this. She did oh, that. You even have more of the tea. So I cannot even remember. <laughs> no, like a me. Mm. She slapped her mother-in-law. She gave birth inside um, a very local hospital. It, this one, that one. Your friends. My problem now is... She doesn't have a car. She, she doesn't have a... House. You don't have a car. You don't have a house. And then you're coming to say... she, she, she is, yeah, She's jealous she's, of you, Abby. Has, what no, no. She said grammar? that... Um, you now said I'm jealous of you. Just like mm-hmm. Beyonce and then take me. Don't jealous me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't jealous me. <laughs> like I mean, she needs to calm down. What is she saying? What is her pain exactly? I watched the old video and I was waiting for her to say. So this is what Tony did to me. Uh, but there's a point she said. Tony said, said her messages that she cannot bring to public. But Why? That, but that she actually swear. Well, let me just say to you, but on check my phone in that text and she was saying everything she sent to her in that message that she's not going to send she's going to say that whatever she wished her in that message she wishes it also also to her um to herself her family her whatever her children and then for her everything she has ever thought about Tony or any wish she has um for or against her that she wishes the same thing to her and her children also right that so i, I this don't, is I don't just know a very dramatic she person. is she can't be very very dramatic. very dramatic she person very dramatic. and this old drama is so unnecessary because basically i think what is a problem now is that tony has a proper fan base because everything she kept on saying was that mm, your fans you're supposed to gather your fans and be helping all the old, old people in the industry i mean don't you this? Xenophobia. She get. Mm-hmm. Don't she you, didn't put out anything. Uh, you're supposed to use your fan to help um, people in the industry. You're supposed Do to I use your pe- <laughs> people that she doesn't even know. These people. Mm. These people just love her because of what she's doing. And I mean, if people love you, they will stand for you anywhere. Mm. And we've seen celebrities, um, celebrities that their fans are going on to threaten. Let's use this Big Brother for an example. We have Alex and Sissy drama and all of that. But. Trust me, you can't hold these people responsible because they probably don't even know these people. They've not met them before. Beyonce's um, fans, fans they are always everywhere. One, eh, what's that? Threatening people, doing all those. But nobody's holding Beyonce for um, responsible, responsible for, for that actions. because everybody has their phone. She, she has not met these people. She does not know them. But you're saying she should gather them. She should uh, make, their, um, your, make your fans help other people. Make your fans. Am, am I supposed to now for my fans or... Oh, Go and follow this person on Instagram. My fans, oh, you must. I mean, I, 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 I follow Tony's page, and I know that when, uh, or when other colleagues have movies coming out in the cinema, she's always putting it up on her page that go and watch, go and watch, go and watch. Yes, I follow her page. I mean, Miwa Demola or Dunla Day, or that even upcoming 
um, actors and actresses. She will put it up that, okay, this movie is out, go and watch, it's out on YouTube, is this. I mean, she's trying her best. She's not in that. You don't think, if somebody has, it's like Tiwa's case. When people talk about Tiwa and then they say, um, she should help other people, she should do this one. If, if you're not hardworking, Nobody can help you. Okay, if let's, people don't let's, like let's your craft. What Ife has to say on this one? No, it's their beef. They'll squash it. <laughs> That's, That's all, all you're I have saying. To say, yeah. Hmm. Yes, now. <laughs> it's their beef. Ife really say. can't be bothered about I them. Mean, yeah. <laughs> hmm. No, really, I, I'm not like. But I just feel like Tony just gave birth. They need to give her a break. Hmm. I mean, she's. Let's see the but anyways, eh? as much as I agree with. Everything that Ewa has said, I'm just going to add this one so we can wrap up. Um, I mean, they say there's no smoke without fire. Mm. That's one. Secondly, if anything, because it's easy to look at the things that she has said and the blah, blah, blah that she blabbed in the video and also ignore the little, little things she mentioned, right? So mm. if there's anything in that video that she has talked about that Tony is into, I, I hope that um, she can actually stop them. And if those things are not true, then maybe Lizzie needs to check her own brain and stop <laughs> making noise. That's all I'm going to say. Because if there's anything in that video that you have talked about and you're doing from fake life to whatever it is, something in English or in Yoruba, you need to stop if that's And true. they need to learn from Regina Daniels, at least, because she if doesn't you have, talk, if right? You, no, if you have issues with somebody, mm. you don't really have to bring them down. You can talk about what the problem is mm. and not talk about their dark secrets or whatever it is. All right, and since the fair is not interested in this woman for lava, <laughs> that's our wrap up on Tea Time this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode or every other episode you might have missed by subscribing to our YouTube channel, La Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Ewa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Shoke, and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.